today we are getting a new pet. Viewing your coursework, and I'm pleased to inform you that you're due for a new pet. And not just any old pet, mind you. You've earned an Aztecan sun serpent. But there's a catch. Due to certain meteorological circumstances beyond my control, I wasn't able to procure the egg for you. Fortunately, I know an Azteca serologist who happens to have a sun serpent egg in his collection. You remember Edward Haley? He also happens to owe me a favor. Talk to Haley in his observatory in Marleybone and tell him I sent you for the egg. Right, lovely, lovely, lovely. So, this is um, level 98, I believe, um, pet quest from Dahlia, the last quest that you get from Dahlia herself um, before you go to Ignis. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing it slightly out of order because I know we've already had the, um, the Raging Bull spell, so just just pretend that i did it in order i kind of completely forgot that this quest existed until a wee while ago so um yeah don't hate me but yes now we need to go to edward haley who is obviously in marleybone marleybone in his observatory which is pretty cool um to get the sun serpent so obviously we have um we oh hello shadow trickster <laughs> i've been questing a little bit we're just starting imperia at the moment um for more of that you can see my second channel there's so many videos of fire questing going up right now um shameless self-promotion but yeah uh as you remember at the start of azteca we meant to we went to see edward haley um right at the start of azteca like right right early on um and yeah we're heading back to him because he owes a favor and he's in this wee little obelisk here lovely lovely thank you three times third time's the charm makes sense good job game good job um but here he is look at him look at him hello well look what the ketzel dragged in good timing too i think i just discovered an uncharted world of the spiral oh but you don't have time to hear about that was there something i can help you with dahlia found Maya sent you here for an egg so the legend of my delicious marley boiled eggs has spread to ravenwood the secret is a liberal application of marlemite. What's that? You're looking for a sun serpent egg? Yes, I have one I could part with. You're not going to eat it though, right? Well, you must be quite a special student of Dahlia Falmeyer's willing to burn the favor I owe her on you. You'll find it inside the observatory. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important work to do. Run along then. Right. I wonder what that um, unknown world is. That's interesting. Lumeria? Question mark? Probably not, but imagine. Imagine that that would be crazy. It's as hard and as heavy as a rock. There's no way this egg can hatch into a pet. I mean, she does have a point. If it's very hard and heavy. Better ask Haley what's going on here. I think he's gypped us and it's a rock. That's my honest opinion of this matter. And if it isn't, then I would be very surprised. <laughs> but I think it is a rock. Hello, buddy. What's that? Of course I know the egg is petrified. Were you expecting it to hatch into a pet or something? Oh, you were. I see. Well then, I'm afraid I can't help you. But I may know of someone who can. Years ago, before the tragedy of Shibalba, I traveled to Azteca on a research expedition. There I befriended a fascinating young alchemist in Three Points by the name of Shipley Tailbiter. He was a veritable font of alchemical know-how. He may know of a way to resurrect Aztecan fossils, if he's still alive, that is. Well, good luck with all of that, wizard. Though, if you ask me, an Aztecan pet rock is just as interesting as a pet sun serpent. I don't think so, buddy. I would disagree severely. Um, I don't like pet rocks. They are dumb. I've stated this many times, so we're not having a pet rock in this vicinity. Thank you. We want a sun serpent. We want a sun serpent, not a pet rock. SMH. Right, let's head to Ghipli Tailbiter. Sounds kind of scary. I might need to put my Karen away because he might bite the tail. So we'll, we'll just switch on to the skates for a second. So the um, <laughs> so he doesn't bite. Actually, this this mount actually works quite well with um, the stitch. I kind of, I used to really dislike the like roller skate and the um, ice skating mount, but I think they're pretty simple and I like them. I've I've become accustomed to them. So I rate um. 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, that is that is my thing. My rating. Wizard, why have you returned to doomed Azteca? 
You need help restoring life to a fossilized sun serpent egg? Mm, no small request. Mm. If that egg hatches, it will ensure a piece of Azteca lives on. Of course I will aid you. Making the restorative will be easy. That is, it'll be easy for me, so long as you go on the death-defying journey to gather the supplies I'll need. <laughs> Collect molten lava from Isla del Fuego in the floating mountains. <laughs> Take care not to burn yourself. You'll also need to collect some toxic scales from the venomous tetzels in Tierra de Brea. But I'll do the rest. Good luck. We're going to Tierra de Brea. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since we've been there. We'll watch this defeat and collect quest take 5 million years. Oh my gosh. It will 100% take 5 million years. I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you. This is Tierra de Brea, right? Yeah, it is. Huh, I know where I'm going. I love Azteca because I know where I'm going now, mostly, most of the time. Uh, we need venomous quetzals, which down the bottom, down the bottom. Um, let's take out the faints because <laughs> they have like no health. Definitely don't need faints, that's for sure. Um, they're down here, yeah, right down here. Bum ba dum bum ba dum bum. There they are. Life. Um, rank what? Twelve elite. Not too bad. Not too bad. That'll be easy peasy. Um, so yeah, welcome to fire. Basically, we're just gonna blade. Oh, these guys actually have a little bit of health. <laughs> I'm so used to things having like 2,000 health. 3,000 is like on the top end of what we're reaching in Mirage, since I've just finished Mirage. And um, yeah, 3,000 for Azteca is still quite a lot. Jeez, completely forgot that Azteca stuff and Crystal stuff have so much health, it's ridiculous. Because how to make game harder? Just increase health, makes sense. Makes complete sense. That's just Meteor. Should be dead. Easy clap. Easy clap, hopefully. Um, what's that? Cycle of life or mending? I don't know. I can't remember the spells. I can't remember the life auras. There's too many of them. <laughs> they need to stop making them. Actually, keep making them because it's fun to have variety in spells. Treant. Oof. Right. Here we go. Meteor strike. Can we get it first try? That is the question. Drum roll, please. Do -do 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 -do. Do we get it? Do we get it? The answer is... No, we got one of two. Okay, well, let's fight another one. <laughs> let's go again. Rematch. Rematch, fight me. Thank you. Let's do this. Big, big old rematch time. Makes sense. Right, let's um, just... Can we kill? Should we try? No, I'm not gonna try. I mean, they do boost. Let's try. Let's try and see if we can kill round one. If not, we'll just blade into a meteor or just pass into a meteor. I think we can do it. I think, I believe. I believe in us. We can do it. We did it. Nice. Easy clap. So good. And we got it. Nice. Let's go to the floating mountains and collect some molten lava. Uh, now, I don't know where the floating mountains port is. I think it is in, yeah, it's in the other place. We're going to put the Karen back on because I actually prefer the Karen. I really like the Karen. I got this mount ages ago from I think it's the Skeleton Key boss in the Hollow Mountain dungeon, the level 25 Kimberlung like second dungeon, not the Pagoda, but the other one. Is that Floating Mountains? Is this Floating Mountains? It is. Wow. Lovely. Um, yeah, and I've had it for like ever. It's like probably the mount that I've had for the longest amount of time and it's really nice to actually be using it again because you know, I, I didn't really use it much. I was just chilling in my shared bank and, you know, decided why not. It kind of matches my fire's aesthetic with the gold all, all over the place. So might as well. Might as well. Um, let's get some Molten Lava. Which is over here. We only get the pit on this. I'm so sad. I want more XP. Give me XP, please. Please, XP. Please, I need, I need XP. I need all of it. Um, Agave, we don't need that. We, do we just okay we just do that fair enough fair enough let's go back to the three points talk to Zipli again and then I believe we'll probably have to talk to Falmia maybe say goodbye to her finally and then um then we get the pet which is pretty cool and yeah I don't know if I'll actually use it but if I do um We'll see. I do. I do actually want to change my pet because I'm, the pet stuff doesn't actually fit my um, stitch anymore, which is really unfortunate. Do you have the molten lava and the toxic scales? Excellent. Let me combine them. Uh, you might want to take a step back. <laughs> so far, so good. Now I'll 
Carefully dip the egg into the restorative. Oh, wow, it worked! <laughs> I mean, uh, here you are. One sun serpent egg, good as new. Should be ready to hatch soon. But I do have one request. The sun serpent is no ordinary pet. Rather, a living embodiment of Azteca. So do not just leave it to run about your house, okay? I cannot confirm or deny that I would do that. But yeah, that is the quest done. Um, it's actually kind of cool. It gives a fire blade. So I, I'm actually interested in using this pet because I am looking for another pet. Um, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Miss Oreo. Um, let's get off our mount, actually, because then we can actually see it. Um, yeah, there it is. Lovely wee little pet. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. That is all for today. Um, hope you enjoyed. Smash like, subscribe, and remember to craft outside the box.